Hello and welcome to my stability dryland video. My name is Victor Althorp. I'm a two-time Olympian and professional inline and ice speed skater. I'm happy to have you here. This workout is about stability. It's about that position, the correct skating position. There's many ways to get there. In this video, I put together the exercises that I believe to be the most beneficial. Remember that this is only one out of a lot of different dryland videos that I made as part of my dryland masterclass. You can download that class below. Just click on that link in the description and then you can join that program. So you're not just gonna see the exercises, but you're gonna know how to implement these in a workout, how to combine them with your actual skating practice, and also how long sets and how to gradually build your performance in order to get better at skating. But for now, we're gonna get to this specific workout. It is about the position. There's a lot of important things here and I really recommend you to not go too hard until you get the technical part of it right. So every single exercise starts with the basic position, which is also the first in the program, but I will be guiding you through this. These are essential, because if you can't be in that position on shoes, it's gonna be really hard to get in that position on the skates. So listen carefully, work hard, and I'm sure you're gonna improve. Let's get to it, starting out with the most important exercise, the basic position. Make sure that you're looking a bit forward because if you're out skating, you want to see where you're going. Be able to fit a fist between your knees. Make sure your feet are pointing forward and just maintain a steady and relaxed position there. 90 degrees knee angle. Next up here is basically the same, but on one leg. Demands a little more stability and it's going to be way harder over time. Aim for that recovery leg, so the leg that you got lifted in the air, to be as relaxed as possible and for that to point straight forward. Got to make sure that your hips are also pointing straight forward and that your upper body is not twisted. The more you can relax the leg hanging behind and the more vertical you can have that, the better. Also make sure that when you put that leg backwards, you're not compensating with your upper body tilting downwards or upwards. Ideally, you wouldn't change anything from the basic position, except you have the other leg hanging in the air. Now this one is the push position. You start out with the same basics that we just looked at in the basic position. So the same knee, toe, and shoulder aligned, and then you just extend that other leg. Make sure to extend it fully to the side and have your feet pointing forward. You could, if possible, find a line like I have here in the video so that you know your legs and your feet are aligned. Because if you don't have it like this when you're out skating, it's very easy to tilt and not generate speed and power. So here's the weight transfer. It's a little more movement, but it's a great exercise for you to have these different key points even when moving. So gradually, slowly feel your body weight going from one side to the other. Shoulders must remain parallel to the ground and you should be sure to lead with your hip. When you're all the way to one side, you can test if you got the position on point by trying to lift the opposite leg off the ground just for a little second. And if you can do that without too much struggle and without pointing your shoulders outwards, that's a good chance you found the right position here in this weight transfer drill. This one is a very famous exercise, the squats. Make sure you do it at a controlled pace. The faster is not the better. And when you go up and down, you should double check that your knees are not wobbling in or caving to the inside. Shoulders should be relaxed. And as you can see here, I try and put my hips a little forward and have a round back. I know it's a thing they teach you not to do in a lot of sports, but in skating, it's really important to have a round back and to have your hips a bit forward. Think about your belly button going forward. Now we're taking it a step further with single leg squats. Again, the slower you can do these, the better. You can either use your arms the way I'm doing it here, or you can have them on the back. As you can see, my other leg, the one in the air, is as relaxed as possible. And if you look at the side view, you can also see that my shoulders are not going up or down. I'm in that very same position all the time. Because we would want to, when we put on the skates, be able to be solid throughout here. And if you let the upper body bounce up and down or fly to the side, well, you're going to lose a lot of free speed right there. So very controlled here. Good way to test yourself that you should be able to touch the ground when you're down into the position with a loose hand. 
Now here we are doing a different version of the classic squats. This one will engage your calves a little more and the side of your glutes, which are very important for skating. So it's really just to, to engage some different muscles. And here, the narrow squats, again, to engage different muscles. And this one, we even get a little bit of that balance aspect. Of course, you won't have to test yourself with the fist in between the knees here, as this is a drill where we overcompensate in different ways. But one thing you would have to keep on point here is that your shoulders should not be popping up and down or rocking anywhere else than just above your body. Now here we got the hardest of these exercises, if you ask me, the lifted position. So you point your leg straight to the side, make sure to not open up in the hip and have your feet pointing straight forward. As you can see, they're aligned following the white line here in my video. And then you lift it off the ground. As you lift, make sure to not tilt your shoulders and have your hips flat and parallel to the ground at all time. You want to engage your gluteus medius, so the side of your butt, basically. And that's what you want to use in order to lift the leg up here. In this entire video and basically all the dryline workouts I do, you will see me wear the wear bands. It's a really cool concept with elastic bands that are attached to your feet and around your waist and you can add extra resistance. There's multiple levels so you can add the specific resistance you would want. Also making these training plans and these videos available to basically all levels, whether you're an Olympian or a brand new beginner to this. I am going to throw a link down below in the description and I suggest all of you to get a pair of these then you get a nice discount using the code below.